In this video we're going to uh, once again graph the lines and identify the slope and y-intercept but first for these ones we have to solve for y. Okay so we'll do example 3, 4 and 5. So let's start with example 3 and what I'd like you to do is press pause and solve that equation for y. In other words get y by itself. So please do that and then check the video because I want you to make a mistake hopefully or not but if you're gonna make a mistake now's the time and then you can play the video and try to understand where you went wrong so please press pause solve for y and then check to see what 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 I get okay okay I hope you press pause and tried it so when we solve for y we see what's been done to it first it's basically we're basically solving a formula now y has been multiplied by 2 and then 4x is being added on so we have to undo multiplying by 2 and undo adding 4x. Now the first thing being done to y is it's multiplied by 2 then 4x is added so we we undo the adding 4x at the start so we subtract 4x from both sides. Now question so 4x subtract 4x is 0 right and so we just have 2y on this side. Now are these like terms is 6 and negative and a is a, a number and an x term, are they like terms? They're not like terms, right? <coughs> so that gives us simply 6 minus 4x or negative 4x plus 6, that's also correct, right? Now, so these aren't like terms, we have to write like that. Now what do we do? y has been multiplied by 2, take the next step if you haven't done so yet and and, and, and figure it out. So what do you do now? Take the next step y has been multiplied by 2 so to undo that you need to divide by 2 everywhere and we need to divide each individual term by 2. Do you remember that? <coughs> so we get y equals 6 over 2 3 minus what's 4x over 2? Two? 2x, two right? Does that make sense? And the reason you divide each individual term by 2 is if you had something like two pineapples cost the same as um, six apples plus um, you know four bananas one pineapple I hope you agree would cost the same as three apples and two bananas right doesn't that make sense so how did we figure that? If two pineapples cost all of this, one pineapple must cost this. That makes sense, doesn't it? How do you figure that? Well, you divide everything by two, okay? So if you divide the left-hand side of an equation by two, you must divide everything on the other side of the equation by two also, right? So we've seen that before. And um, so we have y equals three minus two x. Now the only thing is, we like to have our equation in the form mx plus b, like the x term on the left, the uh, number on the right. So how else can we write that? y equals what? Now you have to understand that this is in fact negative 2x because it's a negative 2x and a positive 3 plus 3. And there's a few ways to understand that. Let's go over it. First of all, subtraction is the same thing as adding the opposite, which you were supposed to have learned in the previous class. And so we have 3 plus negative 2x, or negative 2x plus 3. It's the same thing, right? You have a negative 2x and a positive 3. So that's why it's the same. What I'm saying is, it's not 2x minus 3. This is not the same thing. Why? Because um, it's, it's, it's like saying 12 minus... 3, is that the same thing as negative 12 plus 3? What do these both make? What's 12 minus 3? 12 minus 3 is 9. Negative 12 plus 3 is negative 9. So they're not the same thing, right? So 12 minus 3 is the same thing, though, as, as negative 3 plus 12. Okay, because it's a negative three plus a with with a positive twelve, and that makes in both cases it makes nine, right? What's another way? Okay, I'll give you another one. How about if you had four 
minus 6. What is that, by the, by the way? Four, 4 minus 6. 4 subtract 6, negative 2. Write this a different way. Negative what plus what? Write 4 minus 6 a different way. Negative 6 plus 4, right? Negative 6 plus 4, which is also negative 2, right? Not 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4 is positive 2, but you can see that's not the same thing, right? So, but the point is you've got a negative 6 here and a negative 6 here, and you've got a positive 4 here and a positive 4 here, right? So it's kind of like this, plus 4 plus 4, negative 6, negative 6, same thing, right? Similarly with the uh, 3 minus 2x and negative 2x plus 3. Okay, so in any case, um, we've got to make a table and graph this and then point out the slope and y-intercept. So make a table and, and uh, get some points for this. So you're going to go x and plug in some numbers. Now we don't have any fractions, so we can just plug in, say, 0, 1, 2, and that would do it, right? So go ahead and calculate some y values, press pause and do that, then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So negative 2 times 0 plus 3, negative 2 times 1 plus 3, negative 2 times 2 plus 3. That gives us 0 plus 3, which is 3, negative 2 plus 3, which is 1, <laughs> negative 4 plus 3, which is negative 1. So 3, 1, negative 1. Okay, and we can plot those points. 0, 3, 1, 1, 2, negative 1, and we can join those points together. Right? Now, can you identify the slope and the y-intercept from the graph? Here's the xy axis, right? Show me where the y intercept is and what is the y intercept? The y intercept is where the line cuts the y axis and it cuts it at 3, right? Or you could also say, well, that's 0, 3. That's the point, okay? So the y intercept, this is the y intercept, okay? And it's also labeled the letter what letter do you do you call the y intercept because the general form of a linear equation is or the slope intercept form of a linear equation is y equals mx plus b right so m is the slope and b is the y intercept so our b you can see is 3, right? B equals 3. That's the y-intercept, right? Now, what about the slope? Slope equals what? What over what? Rise over run, right? And can you, can you get the slope from the graph? Because if we take two points, right? If we take two points, we would go from, let's say, this point to this point, okay? And we would go over 1, and then down 2, right? So the run would be 1, and the rise, well, you're going down 2. So you're not rising, you're actually dropping 2, right? So the rise would be negative 2. So sure enough, our slope is negative 2 over 1, which is also can be written negative 2. And so sure enough, y equals mx plus b, the slope m is negative 2, and the y-intercept b is 3, b is 3, or the y-intercept can also be written 0, 3, right? So we've graphed it, and we've checked that the slope and intercept do, do match up with the equation, right? So example 4, first solve that equation for y, and then graph it and uh, and check the slope and y-intercept of the graph. So we'll do it in stages. Press pause and solve for y and then, then I'll do it. So press pause and solve for y 
and by all means make a mistake or two that's fine because then you might learn something by checking the video and catching your mistake. So press pause and solve that equation for y. Okay I hope you press pause and tried it. I'll do it now. So we subtract 5x from both sides first of all. Okay, And we're left with 3y equals 12 minus 5x and these are not like terms. What do we do next? y has been multiplied by 3 so we divide by 3 and we must divide each individual term by 3. Okay, So that gives us 3y over 3 is y, 12 over 3 is what? 4 and negative 5x over 3 is like negative 5 thirds times x, isn't it? Now how else can we write that? If you want to, to, to make it look like y equals mx plus b so you want your x term on the left and your b on the right, you would write it negative 5 thirds, this is negative 5 thirds x, right? And that's a positive 4, so plus 4, right? So you're, can you tell me what the slope and y-intercept are? The slope is the number in front of the x, the slope m is negative 5 thirds, right? And b is 4. And we'll just graph that and we'll check the slope and y-intercept from the graph, right? So press pause and get some points for the graph. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it quickly now. So we're going to plug in 0 for sure, but we have a 3 on the bottom of the fraction, so we should probably plug in what? Multiples of 3, like 3 and maybe 6 or 9 or 12 or whatever. So negative 5 thirds times x plus 4, negative 5 thirds times x plus 4, negative 5 thirds times x plus 4, and plug in the values of x, right? So I hope you've pressed pause and tried this and you're just checking your answer now because I'm going to do this quickly. I hope you pressed pause and did it yourself. So we get 0 plus 4 which is 4, then we get um, this is 3 over 1, so that's negative, you could write negative 15 over 3 plus 4, which is negative 5 plus 4, which is negative 1. Or you could cross cancel and that would just be negative 5. Or similarly here, you know, we, we could cross cancel, 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 6 goes twice, and this becomes negative 5 times 2 over 1, negative 10 over 1, or negative 10 plus 4. Now negative 10 plus 4 is just negative six, right? So there we go. And then we can plot these points. Zero four, three, negative one, six, negative six. Right? And just join those points up. And if the three points aren't in a straight line you've made a mistake somewhere, right? So your three points should be in a straight line. And this is the x-axis, that's the y-axis, and now give the slope, get the slope of the y-intercept from the graph, and just check to make sure it's the same as the equation, right? So press pause and get the slope and the y-intercept from the graph. Okay, I'm going to do it now. I'll start with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 4 because the graph goes through 4 on the y-axis. That's also 0, 4. So this is the y-intercept, b equals 4. Okay, the slope equals rise over run, which equals what? If I take two points, like this point and this point, to get from here to here, I would go diagonally down, or I could go across and stop right above it, right above it, there, okay, and then, and how far did I go across? went across 3. So that's my run, because I'm running across 3, right? And then I'm not going to rise, I'm not going to go up, I'm going to go down. How far down? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going down 5. See that? Dropping 5. Okay. So my run is 3, I went across 3, and then I dropped 5. So the slope becomes negative 5 over 3. That's my m, my slope, negative 5 over 3. 
negative 5 over 3, right? Same thing. So your m, so we've got y equals mx plus b, m is negative 5 thirds and b is 4, right? And it, it matches up with the graph. So last example, this one, example 5, I'd love you to first press pause and solve for y. Press pause and solve for y and by all means make a mistake, that's fine because then you can check the video and figure out where you went wrong. So press pause and solve for y then I'll do it. Okay, hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So we have basically a negative 5 times y, and then this is a positive x being added on. Now to get rid of this positive x, we subtract x from both sides, okay? And that doesn't leave us with, these make 0, and that doesn't leave us with 5y, it leaves us with what? Negative 5y, that negative has to come down, that didn't go away, right? We subtracted x, but we still had negative 5y. So we have negative 5y equals 15 minus x, right? Now what do we do? y has been multiplied by negative 5, so divide by negative 5 everywhere. Divide each individual term by negative 5. What does that leave us with? Write down the answer if you haven't got it yet. Positive y equals, now positive over negative is negative 3 and we have negative x over negative 5. Well, what does that thing make? Let me ask you this. What is negative divided by negative? Because that's what we have. We have a negative x divided by negative 5. What sign should it be? Just get the sign first. You've got negative over negative. Should it be a positive, right? And that's x over 5. You could write it like that if you want. Okay, so it's a positive anyway, it's x over 5. Now, how else can we write x over 5? 1x over 5, or how else can you write 1x over 5? Uh, use a fraction. Isn't 1x over 5 the same as 1 fifth times x? Right? Same thing? So we'll rewrite this in mx plus b form, and what do we get? 1 fifth x. Now this is a, a, a negative 3, right? So what should we have here? 1 fifth x minus 3, right? So what's the slope and what's the y-intercept? Remember it's y equals mx plus b. Tell me what the slope is, m. The slope is 1 fifth. m equals 1 fifth, isn't it? That's the slope. What's the y-intercept? The y-intercept is negative 3. B is negative 3, right? And if we were to graph that, um, x, or sorry, the y, uh, we, we could um, make a table, right? And plug in some numbers. So watch, we have a fraction here, so what numbers should we plug in? Press pause and, and plug in some numbers and see what you get. Okay, I hope you tried it. So I'm going to plug in 0, but I'm also going to plug in multiples of 5, like 5 and what else? What's another multiple of 5? 10, right? And now I'll get 1 fifth times 0 minus 3, 1 fifth times 5 minus 3, 1 fifth times 10 minus 3, and then I'll calculate each one and, and graph it. So from here, please calculate press pause and calculate each one, then I'll do it. Press pause and, and do it yourself, then I'll do it. So this gives us 1 fifth times 0 is 0 minus 3, 1 fifth times 5, 5 over 1, that's, that's 5 over 5 minus 3, or 1 minus 3, which is negative 2, and 1 fifth times 10 over 1 is 10 over 5 minus 3, or 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. So we get negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Okay. And if we plot those points, plot those points and draw the line at least. Do that. Plot those points, draw the line. Okay, I hope you press pause and try it. I'll do it now. So 0, negative 3, 5, negative 2, 10, negative 1. And they should all be in a straight line. If you're not in a straight line, you've made a mistake. So you got to try and fix your, your mistake. And then we'll draw a line through it.
Now, get the slope and the y-intercept from the graph and then check to see if it is the same as what you've got in the equation. Okay, did you do that? The y-intercept is at negative 3 or that zero negative three you could call it that's the, and so so our y intercept right is that and what letter do we use to describe the y intercept y equals mx plus b so b is negative three right and what's the slope can you get the slope from the graph slope is the rise over the run okay what does that give you Press pause and get the slope from the graph. Okay, I'll do it now. Hope you press pause and tried it. So if you get two points, like this point and this point, to get from here to here, you could go across, run across, and then rise up. Now how far did you go across and how far did you rise? You run you run along the ground. You run along five and then you rise up, you rise up one and similarly along here you could run five and rise one Okay. so for this line we run five and rise one to get the next point Okay. so the slope is one-fifth that's our m slope m equals one-fifth and you can see that from the equation y equals mx plus b m is one-fifth, b is negative three Okay. And by the way, it's one fifth, not one fifth x. It's just one fifth, right?